Hello and welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews and another installment on why did I want this gun. This is part 11 in my series on why did I want this gun. This one's going to be a little bit different than most of my other series and mainly because it's not exactly a firearm but it is still a gun. So let's go ahead and show you what this part 11 video is talking about. And for the record, some of you complain that I have terrible backdrops in my videos, so lo and behold, the American flag, how can you say the Stars and Stripes is bad? So I finally have a decent backdrop in my video. But let's check out the gun I'm talking about today. So the gun we're talking about today, and while it's not a firearm, uh, it is still a gun. And that's why the name of my channel is not Cranky Firearms, it's Cranky Gun Reviews. This is still a gun, even though it's an air rifle. This is something that I first saw on uh, One Shot TV's channel. And he had one of these in one of his videos. Had, you know, it just got me super excited to see it. So what this is, is a MP40 clone air rifle. It's made to look like the legendary World War II German MP40. Machine and Pistola 40, if you will. Uh, this is made by Umarex. It's made in Taiwan, um, but honestly, for the quality of this gun, it, it could be a German uh, firearm. It's made really well. It's made to look a lot like the original. It's made to function a lot like the original. So it has this awesome folding stock, the button here on the back. Push that in, flip it around, butt stock flips out. Barely even fits in frame here, but that's it fully extended. Magazine, I believe holds 60 rounds of BBs. These are 177 BBs. And to load it, you have to pull down on this little lever, slide it all the way down to the bottom, and then fill the BBs in through this little hole here. So you put 60 BBs in there. It holds two uh, air cartridges in the bottom, one goes up, and one goes down, and then when you tighten the end of this thing up, it pierces them so that the magazine is actually pressurized. The firing pin hits the back here and pushes the BB out the front under pressure, and magazine clicks in just like that. So this is not an open bolt design, so let me fold this stock up so you can see. When you flip it around, you charge the, um, take that magazine out here when you charge the bolt handle it'll stay part way open so when it's firing it'll actually whoops my hands in the way when it's firing if i take the safety off which is underneath the frame and you fire it the bolt will go forward but it won't close all the way when the magazine's in so it'll actually cycle and lock back about there so it's pretty nifty like the MP40, this is a full auto, so 60 rounds as fast as it'll dump them out. You can shoot it with the buttstock folded in or folded out. There's a little switch here on the bottom. This is your selector switch right here, so that's safe. In the middle is semi-auto, fully back is full auto. Um, and, I mean, the whole entire thing is pretty much metal. You know, there's some plastic on it. Some of the shrouds are plastic. This piece is plastic instead of being wood like on the original ones. But it just, it's such an iconic gun. Regardless of the fact that it's an air rifle, I had to have one of these. And, you know, I love military history. I love the firearms of the World Wars. You know, I have a Mosin Nagant. I have an SKS. I have a M1 carbine version of a 1022. I have a 1911, now I have this. Um, I also have the MP5, which wasn't really a military, it, but kind of a, you know, police type firearm. But I just absolutely love the MP40. So that's why I got this particular one. So yes, the gun I'm talking about is the MP40, the German Machine and Pistola 40. And again, this, it's not a firearm, it is a BB gun. Um, but it is still a gun. You can see it has that cool folding stock with the piece that goes against your shoulder. 
it looks very close to the original. Obviously, if you look really close at it, the barrel nut and things like that, it's just a piece of stamped sheet metal. Um, it does have sling swivel on the front here and one on the back, so you could actually put a sling on this. And again, it's not a nine millimeter because it's not a real firearm. It uses 177 caliber BBs. It will not take pellets because there's no way to put them in the magazine. Uh, it has a threaded muzzle on the front of the barrel, which I think is pretty funny because it's an air rifle. Uh, it's a left-hand thread, so I don't know what you could actually put on here for a muzzle device, but theoretically you could find a left-hand thread muzzle device for this and put something on there, but completely unnecessary. Um, and, you know, there's just some cool features on the front of this to make it look more like the original rifle. Again, this part of the gun, instead of being wood that you would have on the normal one, it's plastic. But overall, it's a, a pretty good copy. And, you know, realistically, some of the BB guns that have come out that are replicas of the original guns look so cool that you can't not want one. I mean, this was $220 at Cabela's. It's not cheap, but when you consider that a real MP40 in full auto could cost tens or twenties of thousands of dollars and take many years to get the paperwork legally to get one, unless you're a dealer or uh, you know a collector or an auction house or something like that. $220 for something like this is really not that bad. I think it's gonna be a cool gun. I have not shot it yet. Like I said, everything I've seen about it on different YouTube channels have pretty much all said that this is a really cool gun. It's reliable. It's fairly accurate for what it is at about 10 to 15 yards, something like that. And again, it's gonna be more of a range toy than anything else, not even a range. I mean, this is something I can shoot in my backyard. And that's kind of another reason why I wanted it because a lot of times I can't get out to the range. So if I can go out in my backyard and shoot something that's only 450 feet per second, shoot some targets out behind my garage, I can still practice my gun handling practice my sight picture, sight alignment, breathing, and things like that, and trigger pull with this gun. And I have another um, BB gun. I have like an old Crossman or Pumpmaster 760 or something, one of those that has like the little five round magazine that you can put pellets in or it holds like 200 BBs. And that's fine. I mean, I'll probably use that to teach my kids gun safety before I ever take them to the range with a real gun. But this is just something that I wanted for me because it's super cool. It's probably the only way I'm ever going to get to own an MP40. I've held a real one before. Um, one of my local shops had one in stock once and I was able to hold it and look at it and it was really just like, I hate to say breathtaking because it didn't take my breath away, but it's just holding a piece of history like that, an MP40 from World War II. Um, you know, I, I had the option to buy a German Luger last year or two years ago as well it was about 1400 bucks and i almost bought it and the only reason i didn't buy it is because for something that costs that much <clears throat> i like shooting my guns as you guys all well know and i would hate to break a gun that costs that much money you know it's a piece of history it was very cool and i haven't had another opportunity to buy something like that since but again the fact that this is a historic looking rifle and, you know, it's going to be very cost effective to shoot. You can get 25 cartridges of CO2 for around 20 bucks. And the BBs are like 6,000 BBs for $17. So it's very economic to shoot. And, I mean, you get the same experience of shooting. I mean, obviously, you're not going to have the recoil and everything like that. No, it's not a 9 millimeter. It's not an open bolt submachine gun. But you get the same type of experience shooting it for a lot less money and it's just a super easy gun to keep. You don't really have to do any maintenance on it because they don't get dirty. The only thing that the instructions tell you is when you put the CO2 cartridges in the magazine to put a drop of oil on each one of them. Um, but that's really about it. So this is part 11 in my series on why did I want this gun? This is the Umarex MP40, the uh, classic series BB gun that looks like a legendary rifle from Germany. And I'm really happy to own it, even though again, it's a BB gun, it's still a gun, can still do damage. It's still, you know, could be uh, dangerous to somebody if they're not using it properly, but it's a very, very cool gun, even though it's not a firearm. 
So that's going to do it for this edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Make sure you support your two-way rights. Get out there and shoot. Make sure you vote people into office that will support our two-way rights. And you remember that if someone tells you to give up some of your freedom for the greater good, you remind them that freedom is the greater good. Have a great day.